how to use the calculator to solve problems in number bases. In this video, I will show you how to use the calculator and we'll start right now. Hello everyone, my name is Shirley and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here and you'd like to improve in your math skills, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Let's take a look on how to use the calculator to solve number bases. The recommended calculator to use for this chapter number basis would be Casio FX 570 ES Plus and Casio FX 570 MS. So first of all, I'm going to introduce you the four buttons that you're going to use for this chapter. So the buttons are DEC, which stands for decimal, which is base 10, BIN, which stands for binary, which is base 2, OCT, which stands for octal, base 8, and HEX stands for hexadecimal, which is base 16. So the four buttons are over here, DEC, okay, which is decimal, base 10, hexadecimal, which is base 16, binary, which is base 2, and octal, which is base 8. Let's look at another model of calculator, which are commonly used among students. So here, okay, so we have the four buttons here, okay, decimal, DEC decimal, HEX hexadecimal, BIN is binary and OCT is octal. So these are the four buttons that you have to remember okay, and recognize it so that it will be easier for you to calculate using calculator for this chapter number basis. The button DEC means decimal. So number one, DEC, okay, it means decimal. Why is it decimal? So DEC means 1 over 10. Okay, and we also know that decade means 10 years. Okay, so therefore DEC means base 10. Okay, and base 10, it means 10 digits. So what are the 10 digits? So the 10 digits are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay, so these are the digits for base 10. Let's go number 2 will be BIN. So BIN is binary. So BIN, okay, it means binary. Okay, so BIN, it means base 2. Okay, so in base 2, we're going to use two digits only. And the two digits are 0 and 1. Okay, and remember that by, it means 2. Okay, it's normally used for computer programming. For example, 0 means off. Okay, 1 means on. Okay? Okay, for number 3, button number 3 will be OCT. So OCT means octal. Okay, so oct, we know that is octagon. So octagon has 8 sides. Okay? And then, therefore, OCT, okay, it means base 8. And base 8 has 8 digits. So the 8 digits are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Okay? And lastly, will be HEX. So HEX means hexadecimal. Okay? So hexa means 6, decimal means 10, so total will be 16, that's why it's base 16, okay? So when it's 6, why is it 6? Because it's A, B, C, D, E and F, whereas base 10 would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 Okay, so we continue with 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15 Okay so these are the four buttons, four important buttons for number bases in the calculator. So how to use the calculator for conversions? Okay, so first you click on, okay, so there's a mode button here, so click mode. So you try to find base N, so 4, so click 4 base N, okay, so we have DEC here. So for here is binary, so we click BIN binary, which is 110111, I press equals, okay, and then I want to change to base 8, base 10, and base 16. So if I want to change to base 8, I have to press, base 8 is OCT, so press OCT, okay, so the answer is 67. So I'm going to write 67 over here. Okay, so next will be convert to base 10. So I'm going to press DEC. So it's 55. So I'm going to write 55 over here and then convert to base 16. So which is hexadecimal, HEX. So it's 37. So it's 37. Okay, so next I'm going to convert octal, okay, base 8 to base 2, base 10, and base 16. So, okay. So I'm going to press 36, so 36, base 8 is OCT, okay, so 36 and then equals, okay. So I want to change to base 2, which is binary, so BIN, which is 11110, so, okay, 11110, base 2, okay. To change to base 10, I'm going to press DEC, so DEC is 30. So it's 30 here, okay? Next is base 16, which is hexadecimal, hexadecimal. So it's 1E, so we can just write 1E, okay? Okay, next, convert decimal, okay, which is 75 base 10 to base 2, base 8, and base 16. So base 10 is DEC, okay? So 75 equals, okay? So this is DEC, 75 means 75 base 10. So I'm going to change to binary, so B-I-N here. So it's 1001011, okay? So 1001011, base 2. So if I want to convert to base 8, it's going to be OCT here. So it's 113 base 8. So it's 113 base 8. So hexadecimal, base 16, eh? so it will be 4B, okay? So it's 4B, okay? So next will be 27 base 16, change to base 8, base 2, base 8, and base 10. So, hexadecimal, eh? Okay, so it will be 27, okay? So change to base 2 will be binary, so it's 100111. So 100111. And base 8 will be octal which is 47 so it's 47 okay and then base 10 will be DEC which is 39 okay it's that simple so if you want to clear the calculator to go back to the normal mode okay there's a way okay whereby you press shift okay and then there's a CLR at button 9 okay here so you want to clear all, so you press 3 and then if you want to put yes, so you just click equal, so equal and then you just press the AC button. Okay, so now you go back to the normal mode. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to use FX570 MS model calculator to find the conversions. Okay, let's look at the first one. Okay, first of all we press on, okay, then we press mode, so we press mode again and then it's three, okay, base three. So here there's a D here. D means it's already in decimal. So for here is binary. So I'm going to click binary, okay, which is one one zero one 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 equals. And then I want to convert to base eight. So I'm going to convert to base eight. I press OCT here, okay, and it's sixty seven. Okay, so here's sixty seven. Okay, just to double check. And then base ten would be 
base 10 would be DEC, which is 55. So here is 55. And then hexadecimal base 16 would be 37, 37. Okay? So for octal, so 36 base 8. So I'm going to press base 8 is octal. So the question is 36, so equals. Okay? I'm going to change the binary. So binary is 11110. So 11110 base 2. And then to change to base 10, it's going to be DEC. So it's 30. So here is 30. Okay? So hexadecimal is 1E, so 1E, okay? The next one, 75 base 10. So 75, okay, base 10 is DEC, okay? So 75, then equals. Then I'm going to change to base 2. So base 2 is BIN. So 1001011, okay, base 2. And then for base 8, okay, I'm going to click OCT. So it's 113, so it's 113. And hexadecimal, base 16. So hexadecimal is 4B, so it's 4B. The next, 27 base 16. So, hexadecimal, so 27 equals, okay, I'm going to change to base 2. So, base 2 will be binary. So, it's 100111. So, it's 100111, okay? Then change to base 8 will be OCT. So, it's 47. So, it's 47. And the change to base 10 will be DEC. So, which is 39. So, here's 39, okay? So, if you want to clear it, you just press shift. And then the mode, which is CLR, you see, clear. Okay, so all, press 3, and then reset all, so equals, okay, and then just click AC, so you go back to the normal mode. How to use the calculator for addition and subtraction? So now I'm going to show you how. So first, you're going to press on, okay, and then you're going to set up the mode. So mode and base end, so click 4, okay. So it's DEC, but I want binary because it's base 2 plus base 2. So binary, so it's going to be 11011 plus 11110. So the answer is 111001 base 2. Okay? 111001 base 2. Okay, next will be 1011 minus 101. So 1011 minus 101. And the answer is 110 base 2. So it's 110 base 2. Okay, next will be base 8. So base 8, I'm going to use OCT. So 1713 plus 105. And it's 2020 base 8. So it's 2020 base 8. And then 1753 minus 1005. And the answer is 746 base 8. So 746 base 8. Okay? Isn't that easy? So let's try to use another model calculator. So this is another model. Okay? So I'm going to click mode. Mode again is 3. So let's try this base 2, so binary. So be 11011 plus. 1110 1110 1, 1, 1, 1, Okay, so the answer is 111001 So it's correct So next, 1011 minus 101 So it's 110 Okay, which is base 2, correct So next is base 8, so OCT Okay, so let's try OCT So it's 1713 plus 105 And it's 2020 Okay, so it's 2020 so next, 1753 minus 1005 and it's 746, so it's 746 base 8, so it's correct. Well, that's all for now. Do you understand what you learned today? Let me know in the comments below. If you find this video useful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my new videos every single week. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys will keep on learning, keep on practicing and keep on watching my videos and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye guys!